Welcome again, buddies. Our video today is about dry cargo ships. Merchant ships are divided into cargo ships and passenger ships. Cargo ships or freighters are any forest ships or vessels that carry cargo, goods, and materials from one port to another. Cargo ships are specially designed for this task. They are often equipped with cranes and other mechanisms to load and unload cargo, and they come in all sizes. Today, they are built with welded steel, and with some exceptions, generally they have a life expectancy between 25 to 30 years before they are scrapped. Dry cargo ships. Dry cargo ships are used to carry solid dry goods that have a high degree of tolerance to heat and cold, such as metal ores, coal, steel products, forest products, grain, and so forth. These vessels are normally equipped with on-deck cranes and other mechanisms for loading and unloading goods. Among the most important dry cargo ships, we can mention general cargo ships, boat carriers, and container ships. General cargo ships. Once the most popular type, nowadays general cargo ships are still built, but in small quantities. Their carrying capacity is 4,000 to 6,000 tons average and may reach 16 to 20,000 tonnage. General cargo ships include items which are packed, such as boxes, barrels, bags, packages, or not packed, like pipes, bricks, machinery, rolls of wires, etc. They usually have spacious holes which occupy the larger part of the hole with refrigerator chambers to keep perishable foods and tanks for carrying vegetable oils as well. General cargo ships have a great disadvantage compared to other cargo ships since loading and unloading operation takes a long time, which causes delay. Ship for general cargo may sail on a fixed route, which means making regular voyages between two ports or may supply cargo wherever merchants want them to. The latter are also called trampers because they do not have a specific route. Trampers usually transport coal, timber, ore, cotton, etc. Bulk carriers or bulkers. They are vessels designed to carry and package bulk cargo such as grain, coal, ore, sugar, salmon, and so forth. Today, bulk carriers constitute 21% of the world's merchant fleet. Their speed is about 14 to 16 knots and their carrying capacity varies. There are bulkers with 30,000 tons and others with 150,000 tons. Bulk carriers are usually one decked with an engine room in the stern and the superstructure above it. The hulls are constructed with longitudinal and cross walls called bulkheads and the cargo is easily stowed. Most bulk carriers do not have cargo handling gear aboard and have their goods loaded and unloaded by means of poor devices. That's why all the space before the superstructure is vacant 
to make load operation easier. However, there are some bulkers called self dischargers that work on a self unloading principle. Bulk cargo is a wide term that covers a great variety of goods. Thus, heavy bulk carriers usually transport or coal and coke, building materials such as cement and gravel. Moreover, light bulkers carry grain, salt, and sugar. Bulkers can also be all-purpose, so they may be used to export bulk cargo and import oil or vehicles. This type of bulker tends to have many holes. Two examples of this are the OO, oil or carrier, and the OVO, oil, bulk or carrier, which may have a carrying capacity of 280,000 tons. Container ships. Container ships are cargo ships specially designed to carry all of their cargo in truck side containers using a technique called containerization. So they can be loaded and unloaded, stacked, transported efficiently over long distances and then transferred from container ships, rail transport flat cars, and semi trailer trucks. Container ships have a carrying capacity between 8,000 to 16,000 ton average and between 25 to 30,000 tons for big container ships. Container ships are classified as unit low ships because the freight is carried in huge boxes of standard size, usually from 20 foot equivalent unit to 40 foot equivalent unit. Actually, these are the same we see on trains and trucks, proving one of the advantages of container ships. The delivery can be transported to the recipient using the link wagon car ship with least damage of cargo. Container ship has made a revolution in the history of water transport. Thus, their higher speed, which ranges from 20 to 26 knots, and shorter port stay, are one of their advantages over other types of cargo ships. Cargo holds. The container ship's cargo holds are specially constructed to speed loading and unloading, and to efficiently keep containers secure while at sea. A key aspect in the design of the hatches opening is that they stand over the entire breadth of the cargo holds and are surrounded by the hatch combings which deflect or prevent any entry of the water and provide a frame on which hatch covers are fitted. Cell guides. Another key component of the cargo hull is the use of cell guides. Cell guides are strong vertical structures installed into them. These structures guide container into well-defined roads during the loading process and provides an important support for containers against the ships rolling at sea. Containers may carry any goods such as fruit and meat in special refrigerator containers, chemicals and assets, textile, instruments and metals, TV set, radios, computers and even cars. Due to their special design, the handling system is completely mechanized so that all cargo handling 
is done with cranes and special forklift trucks. Therefore, the loading and unloading operations are carried out much faster. Finally, container ships under 3,000 foot equivalent unit are generally called feeders. Feeders are small ships that typically operate between smaller container terminal ports, so they collect their cargo from small ports and drop it off at hot sports for transshipment on larger ships and distribute container from that hot ports to smaller regional ports. This size vessel is the most likely to carry her own cargo handling gear. That's all guys, thanks for your attention, see you next video.